おはじめます。みなさん、こんにちは。We are now on topic 11, session 3. In this session, we have three objectives. First, to notice the common parts and things found in a house. Second, to be able to describe the things that can be found inside one's house and which part of the house it is located. And third, to be able to notice the differences and similarities between parts of the houses in the Philippines and Japan. Have you watched? An anime or a Japanese movie? Was there a scene that took place inside a house? Mina sai, yonde to the side. Bed do. Table. Sofa. Aircon. Moichi do. Bed, table, sofa, aircon, curtain, TV, trophy, medal, more time. Kate, Terry, Trophy, Medal. Were these things included in the scenes that you have watched? Which part of the house do you usually see? Today, we will talk about the common parts of houses. In Japan and Philippines, our goals would be first to identify the common parts of a house using Japanese. Second, to become aware of the similarities and differences between a house in the Philippines and a house in Japan. And third. To describe the parts of our own house. Vocabulary development. Listen carefully to the recording. Try to guess the meaning of the highlighted Nihongo expressions based on the given sentences and pictures. Harina san no uchi. カリナさんのうちにはテーブルとソファーとテレビがあるカリナさんのリビングにはソファーとエアコンがあるカリナさんの部屋にはベッドとメダルがある皆さん読んでくださいうちにはテーブルとソファーとテレビがある。リビングにはソファーとエアコンがある。部屋にはベッドとメダルがある。What do you think the words in the box have in common? In the last session, you have learned that uchi is the Japanese word for house. How about ribingo? Sounds like. Hi, it's living room. How about heya? This is a place in your house where you usually sleep. Heya wa ego de nani? Hi, it's room. Take note. The pattern ni wa ga aru. Indicates what can be found in a certain place. Ex 
example. Uchi ni wa teguru to sofa to teregi ga aru. This means that there is table, sofa, and television in the house. Niwa marks the place where the noun can be found. The particle ga, on the other hand, is used to mark the noun that exists. Sato-sando uchi. Study the given pictures. What do you think are the common things that can be found in a typical house in Japan? Futon. Futon is a thin mattress with a fabric exterior usually stuffed with cotton or feathers. This is usually used for sleeping which replaces a bed. In daytime, as soon as one wakes up, it is folded and usually stored inside a huge cabinet to save space in the house. Sometimes, futon is being hanged in a veranda, to have it aired under sunlight, thus making it feels good when used during night time. Kakejiku Kakejiku is a hanging scroll painting, or calligraphy, mounted in an elevated corner of a Japanese-style room, with silk fabric edges on a flexible backing, so it can be easily rolled for storage. Designs vary from seasons, certain celebrations, to warding off evils. One of the famous Kakejiku designs are those with cranes and turtles, with the saying Tsuru wa shinrin. Which is a symbol of longevity and bearers of good fortune, since both cranes and turtles have long lives, compared to other animals. Stove Stove is a heating device that uses coal, gas, kerosene or electricity to keep a warm temperature in a room. Most areas in Japan use this device during winter. Japan's archipelago has an elongated shape, making the northern part specifically Hokkaido area to have a longer winter period. Most households use stove from October to April. Note, in the picture, the lower part shows two styles of stove. One that uses electricity and the other one uses gas or kerosene. On the upper left side is a dual type of aircon which serves as cooler or heater, while on the upper right side is a regular electric fan. Kamidana Butsudan Kamidana is a Shinto altar usually shaped as miniature shrine with roofs and doors. The hanging ropes are ornamented with white paper to show the purity of a place occupied by a god, similar to what can be seen at shrines. There are also usually a pair of vases, incense or candles, and some dishes that serve as offerings. Butsudan is a household ancestor altar, where offerings are made to ask for protection, and mainly tend to the spirits of the ancestors. Typically, the eldest male in a family is responsible to take care of the ancestors through daily rituals, like food offering, lighting of incense or candles. Spot the difference! What have you noticed? about these two houses. Do they have common parts? Are there parts of the house that cannot be found from both houses? What are those? Why do you think there are parts that are not present from one another?
Activity 1. Study the given pictures. Then analyze the Nihongo expressions used in the following conversations. Talking about parts of the house in simple Japanese. Karina-san no uchi ni wa telebi ga aru? Um, aru. Karina-san no living ni wa bed ga aru? Um, nai. Karina-san no uchi ni wa aircon ga aru? Um, aru. Karina-san no uchi ni wa medal ga aru? Um, nai. Karina-san no uchi ni wa trophy ga aru? Nai. Now it's your turn. Identify the things that can be found in the following pictures. Reya san no uchi ni wa table ga aru? Un, aru. Reya san no heya ni wa Medaru ga aru? Um, aru. Reya san no ribingu ni wa beddo ga aru? Um, nai. For your final activity, group around your house. Describe the things that you have seen in Japanese. Write your answers in your answer sheet. Enrichment activity. Look for at least two unique decorations that can be found inside your house. This should showcase Filipino design or culture. Ask your family members the story behind these things. Minasan, reflection time. What did you learn today? Were there new discoveries or realizations for you in this session? What do you think about the similarities and differences between a Japanese house and a Filipino house? What other things would you like to know about Japanese houses? And how will you find your answer? Write it down in your Nihongo notes. Jugyo o Sayonara!